What is up peeps, welcome back to this new tutorial series. So now we're going to be building this interior scene from scratch. So this is the reference that we're going to be following and this is the final result that you're going to be able to achieve by the end of this tutorial series. And also to prove that it's not just a regular render, we're going to be making an animation out of it. And this is the animation. So these are the steps that we're going to be following throughout this tutorial series. First we have scale matching. So basically we're going to be taking our reference into the FSpy and we're going to be aligning all these axes, the X and Z axis with the most obvious lines in our reference. And after exporting it into Blender, this was going to give us a pretty much good approximation about first the position of our camera, we're going to be having an idea about its location on the Z axis, the Y axis and the X axis. And the most important aspect is the focal length of our camera. So with all these informations, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to create an exact match of our reference. This one's going to be 100% accurate, but we're going to be shooting for something like 85 to 90% accuracy. And after that, we're going to start the modeling process. So we're going to be building all the assets that we have in our reference, starting by the chair. Also, we're going to be creating, we're going to try to make it as close as possible to the chair that we have in our reference. Also over here on the roof, you can see that we have a bunch of details. So we're going to be creating all those details so that we can have a nice result. So basically, you're going to learn everything you need to model environments in a realistic way. And after finishing the modeling process, we're going to start the second phase of our tutorial series, which is texturing. So I took the promise to build all the texture that we have in our reference just in Blender without relying on any external software. So the first material is the wood. As you can see, it's dominating in our scene. We have a variety of types of wood. So the first step is to study the nature of the wood. It consists of layers, one layer on top of another. So we're going to be using the most graph texture to build this wood. Also, we're going to be creating a variety of types, uh, changing the settings to have a variety of types of woods. So the second important material is going to be the leather. So as you can see, we're going to be assigning it to the chair. And first, we need to bring a reference so that we can study the nature of that. Uh, leather and after that we're going to be using the Voronoi texture to build it. Also we need to create two types we have over here this cream color uh, leather and also we have over here for the handles for the chair handles we have this black leather so we're going to be just tweaking color in the color ramp in our material and from there we're going to be taking it over and build the other components or the other materials in our scene so for example we have the plastic we have the some kind of a gold not pretty much gold but it looks like it also, we have some plastic rounds, so we're going to be building all the other materials. And after we will finish texturing our interior, we're going to start the lighting process. So I'd like to put some lamps over here, some spot lamps, just like what we have in our reference. Also, we're going to be using the emission uh, shader to emit light from these lamps on the top. And after that, we will give our scene render to see how everything will look out. And also what we need to do is to jump into the compositing and we will start using the nodes. For example, we're going to be using the glare to add some uh, fog in our scene. And also we're going to be using the color balance to give uh, our scene that warm feeling, just like our reference. So basically we're going to be creating two versions. The first one is going to be the warm and it looks pretty nice. And also we're going to be using, we're going to be creating the cold version, which is also looking realistic. And after that, we're going to be adding some blurry vision, just a slight blur to make it look like a real camera shot. And we will finish by making this animation. I also would like to add some effects to the camera. For example, we're going to be adding the noise modifier over here, just so that we can make it look even realistic, give it that shaky movement, slight shaky movement, just like if someone is holding that camera for real. So I will be sharing the long format tutorials, one each day, and also you will find everything you need on the website realityfigures.net. You can download the assets, textures being used. So if you want to see more of this photorealistic project creating content, so I have some other interesting projects to share, but please consider subscribing. It helps. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to have, if you have any suggestions. So please uh, leave them down below. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Take care.